This simulation is from Explore Learning and is known as Gizmos. They're on your online simulations. Um, the first thing that you notice when you get to this website is right here in the middle it talks about a free 30-day trial. So the uh, ease of using this website would be uh, pretty simple in the beginning, but then there would need to be a sign up or a fee that you might have to pay to use these simulations. So that's something to keep in mind uh, when you go to this website. But what you can do uh, is go to Browse Gizmos. Um, I really quickly want to point out that there is a uh, Common Core State Standards uh, link that you can go to if you want to see how it supports uh, Common Core. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to Browse Gizmos. And from there, it gives you three options to see the gizmos by academic standard, the grade and topic, or by textbook. And so what I wanted to do was go by grade and topic. And as you can see right off the bat, it goes for the upper elementary grade levels to the middle and high school for both math and science. Um, so again, I'm going to have to find uh, creative ways to apply this uh, for kindergarten, uh, but we will do that. So I'm going to go to numbers and operations for counting and cardinality. And then under that, it gives you um, a few topics that you can work with. Um, don't be alarmed by this. This is if it, it says three, six through eight, but that's if you wanted to move up. Um, right here is where you actually are. So now I'm going to go to whole numbers. And then it gives you three different gizmos that you can go to. So the one that I'm going to select is Cannonball Clowns because I mean, that name just sounds appealing as it is. So there are two options. It's the lesson info and then to launch it. So the great thing about this is for the teacher is that there are all of the lesson materials you can do in PDF or Word files. Um, it tells you what the learning objectives are. Uh, it gives you vocabulary terms. And then it allows you to look at other users from the website, what they've uploaded um, as different uh, extension activities from this, this simulation. So we're going to go up. And we're going to actually go to the Gizmo. Now I'm inside of the gizmo, and that screen before was telling me that I had a five minute gizmo pass. So what I'm going to do is now that I'm in here, because I only have five minutes, I want to be quick. So there's this cannon that launches the clown, and here it will tell you how many feet. So it's breaking it down into your ones, and then into your tens, and then into your hundreds. And what it wants it to do is it wants to launch this clown right here into this area. So I, and you can go feet, inches, yards. And I want to go to the number line. So it's a 0 to 100. So I'm going to change this. So I'm going to put these back. See how I just move the cards because my students are learning how to count by ones and tens. So we're going to put the one in the tens place. And so had I put it here, it would have been one in the ones place, but I put it here so it's in the tens. So it's kind of showing how to the expanded notation, um, which is much higher than their uh, level, but um, it, it, does, it will work for multiple grade levels. So then I'm going to hit this button that says launch. And you see he did not go very far. But then you see that it gives students a reference point. So then you ask your students, OK, well, how far do we want to go by now? And they'll say, oh, let's go to the next 10. And so they'll say, let's go 20. So we replace the 1 with the 2. And then we're going to say, 
lunch. And he still didn't meet it. So then students might start talking to each other and say, okay, well, we could go 30, but that's not, that's going to get him right about here. That's not going to get him in that, this red area that we want him to go. So then you ask students to estimate how, how many feet do you think it's going to be in 10? So then they may say, oh, let's try 60. So then you put 6 in the 10 spot. And then this is also showing them how 6 tens equals 60. So you're building multiple, uh, building onto multiple objectives. And then, so they're counting by tens as well. And we click. And it makes it into the uh, red portion. So this also shows them you could go all the way from tens, you know, 30, 40, and it shows on the number line where each marker would be from 0 to 100. So working with number lines is a tool that we use in kindergarten. And this just, in an interactive way, shows them how to use that. Um, so we could do it with, again, with ones as well. And then move that the two and they see that those numbers are I mean those X are literally right on top of each other um, to show them how the number what how the number line works so again uh, the gizmos on this website are for upper elementary middle and high school um, they can be applied to the early childhood um, very carefully with a lot of planning on the teachers part um, used whole group um, but they are very engaging.